What's up, baby? What's up, we miss you guys so much. It's your girl, Miss Stashi. And you know, it's Ramsey. Where have you been all my life? Uh, uh, uh. Oh. Where have you been? <laughs> I know you guys been asking uh, 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 Where uh, have you been all, all my life? life? Uh, 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 uh. Hello. Hello. Where have you been? <laughs> well, you know, nowhere. Where have you been? I've been around the world. I've been playing Fortnite. Huh. Do you see that? I've been eating popcorns watching my favorite movie. Ah. Where have you been? Oh, uh, my life. I, I, I. Well, I have been to the beach all summer. I love the beach. The and guess beach. what? I love making waves. Miss Nastasi? Yes. It's too hot for the beach. I had my boogie board. Yo, boogie board. My boogie wig. Your booger board? My boogie. Oh. Definitely not booger. Disgusting. <laughs> my boogie board. Uh -huh. I was trying to surf. And then I saw, I thought I saw, baby shark. Do, 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 baby shark. Do, 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 do. Baby shark. You know who else? I think you told me you saw. Who? Nemo. He was trying to find Dora. It's Dory. Oh. <laughs> that, must been, that must have been Dory cousin. You was thinking about the Explorer. And you know what I was thinking swiper, about? Swiper, no swiper. Swiper, no swiper. Backpack, backpack. But guess what, Stop. Speaking of backpack, we do have a back to school bash coming up on when August the 6th. August the 6th, August the 6th. It's going down at the West Campus from 10 until first come, first serve. And we are also. Hmm. Having a backpack, backpack, back to school bash on July 30th at our Kissimmee campus. Wait, is there gonna be food there? I love food. Mm. I love food. I love food. Type you food. love food? What's, What's wrong with you? Type your favorite food in the chat. What do you love to eat? Because I love food. Groceries! Mm. You know, I'm Haitian, so I love goat, lamb, you know, the rice and peas. And he All really, that good stuff. He's hungry for real. I'm hungry. My favorite food is spinach and artichoke dip with chips and apples and peanut butter. Is that at TGI Friday? How you know? Because I always see it on the menu. <laughs> I told you I love to eat. I know that's right. But brother, what's up? Can you tell us what we're talking about today? We are talking about be kind. Be kind. What it's like to be kind. I know that's right. What are some mean things that people say and do sometimes? What's wrong with your nose? Why are you short? Um, my mom. You don't have friends? Maybe three. Is that the only pair of shoes you have? You know what? Now you are definitely being unkind. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. You don't play Fortnite? I do not. See, most of the time, kids don't realize that they're not being kind. Wow. So why would God want us to talk about what it means to be kind, Stasha? Well, today's bottom line is definitely show kindness to everyone. Mm. Mm -hmm. So what does showing kindness look like, Miss Nastasha? Uh, holding the door open for someone. Mm. Saying good morning to a stranger. Mm. Walking around with a smile on your face. Walking around with a smile on your face. Right there with a stranger. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Infomercials brought to you by Miss Nastashi Lewis. And another thing, mm -hmm. picking up a piece of trash if you dropped it or not. Mm. How about hugging your friend? Hug your friend. Reminding them that they are loved and chosen by God. I know that's right. Stopping to tell your parents, hey mommy, hey daddy, you know what? I appreciate you. Or I'm proud of you. You know, that is the greatest comp one of the greatest compliments to hear your child say, I'm proud of you, mommy, or because I'm proud of you, daddy. They don't know how much a parent goes through just to make sure that they're okay, Emotions right? Emotions make you cry sometimes. Whoa, whoa, make you cry sometimes. Uh -uh. <laughs> I felt that one. <laughs> and guess what else? What else? Speaking of make waves, mm -hmm. what you do today can change the world around you. Mm. How can something that we do today change the world around us, Mr. Ramsey? Man, there are so many different things that we can do. I mean, I remember when I was a kid, the first thing that changed the world around me, where I lived, was in the house, was 
clean. Oh, okay. Right? Do the chores. Oh. Take care of your chores. And then guess what? My mother used to reward us with going to the park, going to the water park, doing something. So that changed the world around me. So now I was at a place where other kids were happy at the water park called Sunsplash. Because you cleaned up. Because I cleaned up. Look clean, at the clean, love. clean up. Clean, clean, clean up. Clean, clean, clean up. Clean, clean. Yeah. <laughs> See, this is why this is why we're crazy. Yeah, we are in a great way. You know what else? What else? So today's basic truth for this lesson mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. I should treat others the way I want to be treated. Now I have a, a remix to that. Mm -hmm. I feel like you should treat others better than the way you want to be treated. Mm, what do you mean by that? What I mean is if you're treating someone even better than the way you want to be treated, you won't fail. Mm. So it's it's almost, win -win. so almost taking that extra step, right, to going above and beyond. Because God does it for us every day. Every day. Every day. He gives us that grace. Right? You give me joy. That's my Anita Down Baker voice. Deep in my soul. Oh! Down deep in my soul, down deep in my soul. I heard some of that lamb you say you eat. Yeah. When you said so. <laughs> we love you, Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. L, L is probably watching like. Hey, L, we gay. Do, do they really sound like that? We do. <laughs> but let's talk about, Stashi, what does Jesus say about being kind? Because of the Good Samaritan. Because of the Good Samaritan. Which is what? It's Luke okay. chapter 10, verse 25 through 37. That Say we can, that again. Luke chapter 10, verse 30, verse 25 through 35, 37. Once again. Luke chapter 10, verse 25 through 37. So get your Bibles, guys. Yes. Let's do this. You know we're, we're getting wait. into the flow. We're going to wait. We're going to wait for we're you gonna, to get your iPad, your tablet, your phone, your, phone, your parents' phone, because some of you be taking your parents' phone anyway. anyway, and you don't answer those calls. On TikTok. Yeah, Stashi. I be calling some of these parents, and guess what? Sit in the voicemail. If you'd like to make a call, please hang up with your hand. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Ramsey, we didn't see your call. Yeah, because they took away your phone. So get that Bible app open or get your Bible open. And remember to go to Luke chapter 10, verse 25 through 37. And I'll be reading out of the message. So the message, so in the Bible, what's pretty cool about the app, there's different, um, there's different, Versions. how do I say it, v translations, versions. Yeah, yeah. Yes of the Bible where it's it's kind of, it makes it a little bit more connecting to you mm -hmm. for you to understand. Because for me in the Bible, I don't like all those crazy Thou words. Thou art Yeah, really I, I want to read it the way Jesus. I want to feel it. Right, Sasha? I know, I need to know. How will I know if he really loves me? Because he, you'll know if he loves you by reading through the message box. Okay, because <laughs> that's how I get it. Gang, gang. But let's get into it. Let's see what Jesus says. And you're going to see it right here on the screen. So I want you to read along with me if you don't have your Bible or if you don't have the message in front of you. So it says here, Luke chapter 10, verse uh, 25 through 35. It says, just then a religion scholar stood up with a question to test Jesus. First of all, you don't test Jesus. Teacher, what do I need to do to get eternal life? He answered, what's written in God's law how do you interpret it? He said that you love the Lord God with all your passion and prayer and muscle and intelligence, that you love your neighbor as well as you do yourself. So listen to that. He said in verse 27, he said that you love the Lord your God with all your passion and prayer and muscle. So some of you who have those muscles, show me those muscles. That's what God's talking about. You use everything within who you are and your intelligence and he says, and that you love your neighbor as well as you do yourself, just like what Miss Nastasha said earlier, treating others better than the way you treat yourself, right? Then he goes to verse 28. Good answer, Jesus says. Matter of fact, it has an exclamation mark. So that means Jesus yelled. He said, good answer, said Jesus. Do it and you'll live. Wow. Looking for a loophole, he asked, and just how, just how would you define neighbor? Jesus answered by telling a story. Oh, I love stories. Here's, this is what the story Jesus shared. He says, 
There was once a man traveling from Jerusalem to Jericho. So imagine traveling from Orlando to Miami. Okay. And on the way, he was attacked by a robber. So imagine you get out of the car and you see your parents all of a sudden, or you see someone outside of the window at the uh, rest stop gets beat up or gets robbed by somebody. Oh. And they took his clothes, beat him up, and went off leaving him half dead. That means the guy was on the floor with blood and, and his eyes was popping out and, 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 and he looked like he was getting ready to die. Then luckily, a priest was on his way down the same road. But when he saw him, he angled across to the other side. Then a Levite religious man showed up and he also avoided the injured man. So here you have somebody who walks by him and guess what? And leaves him right there where he's supposed to be instead of helping the guy. Verse 33, a Samaritan traveling the road came on him. When he saw the man's condition, his heart went out to him. He gave him first aid, disinfecting and bandaging his wounds. Then he lifted him onto his donkey. So he put him in his BMW, he put him in his Toyota, and led him to a hotel and made him comfortable. In the morning, he took out two silver coins and gave them to the innkeeper, actually, who is the person who works the front desk, saying, take good care of him. If it costs any more, put it on my bill. I'll pay you on my way back. Wow. So listen to that story, Miss Mustachi. Here it is, here's a man who gets beat up and he looks like he's dying. They done beat that man up. Come on. Mm. Imagine this, your, your, your dad walks out of the car and doesn't do anything. Your mom gets out of the car and doesn't do anything. But you get out of the car, the good Samaritan you are, you begin to help this guy out. Right. And all of a sudden, because of helping this guy out, you were able to put him in the place and take care of him so that he wouldn't die on the street. Oh. That he would be taken care of because God saw him as valuable as he sees us. And that's the beautiful thing, kids, is when you look at this good Samaritan, is the good Samaritan didn't look at how much money they had. They didn't look at where they were going to take this person. They didn't look at um, their schedule. Oh, I'm busy, I gotta pay Fortnite. Or oh, I'm busy, I gotta go, I gotta go uh, take a nap. No, what did that Good Samaritan do? That Good Samaritan put aside their own schedule to take care of the need of someone else. I know, that's right. And you know what, Rams? You did a great job recalling the story. Thank you. Uh, you know, I love how Jesus always told stories to teach us important lessons. Mm -hmm. In this story, the Samaritan was the last person. Mm, the last. That injured man would have expected to help him. But what does the Bible say about the last? Mm -hmm. And the last shall be what? First. First. But the Samaritan did. Mm. The Samaritan stopped and chose to be kind in a big way. And that's what we need to do. In every situation, no matter what, no matter if we feel like it or not, we need to choose kindness. Mm, we need to choose oh, kindness. kindness. Say that again, Miss Nastasha. Let me say it skinny. Mm. <laughs> we need to choose kindness. Mm. And that's real, just like the Samaritan did. So you know, our challenge to you is to always choose kindness. So this week, make sure that when you choose kindness, you either record it or and, and send it in. Right. Or tell your parent and you document it. Make a, make a choose kindness journal. And when Kingdom Kids starts back, bring your choosing kindness journal in yeah. so that we can see, so that you can give an account or a yeah. witness of you choosing Christ, and, yeah. choosing kindness. And I'm pretty sure that you've done it before. And now you're thinking, when was that one time you were a good Samaritan? I know you're thinking it because when Miss Nastasi asked me earlier about it, I was like, man, you know, you do so many good things and sometimes you do so much that you forget about the good things that you've done for other people that God has allowed you to do, you know? And that's what's up. That's what's up. Your act of kindness can inspire someone else. Mm. And why not have it be a ripple effect mm. of love, of change, of kindness? You really can change the world around you. Do you have a story or you know, maybe something when you either received the act of kindness or yeah. you demonstrated the act of kindness? I remember a long time ago, it was like four or five years ago, um, there was a time period where okay. I didn't have enough money. When I stepped out on faith, I didn't have enough money to pay my rent. Right. 
right? I was juggling whether do I take care of this business expense or do I pay this rent? And there was a good friend, actually from TKC, who called me and was like, yo, I've been, I've been meaning to meet up with you and God told me I needed to do this for you. Well, long story short, he showed up at the right time where I felt like I was half dead of my life in that season, he showed up and gave me the exact amount of money I needed for the rent. God is so good. God is so good. I'm telling you, those Good Samaritans yes. are important because they carry God assignment. I love it. Let me tell y'all what happened to me. What happened to you? Tell me what happened. Last week, man. Last bro, week. I was downtown because my mom was like, Sashi, I want pizza from downtown. Like pizza from pizza downtown? Place. Yes, at the Lake Yola Pizza Place. I said, okay, mom. And they make these good pizzas, and we were standing in line, and they make it there for you. And this lady came in irate. She was angry. She mm. was like, my pizzas aren't done. I called this in 30 minutes ago. Mm. What are you people doing in here? Mm. I mean, I'm double parked. You need to hurry up. She giving all that attitude. Give it all she got. Mm. So I'm standing there looking like a puppy. And I look over at her. And I smile at her and I say, hi. And she's like, hi. And I said, how you doing? And she was like, I would be better if my pizza was done. And she, I was like, yeah. Hmm. And she looked at me again like this. And she said, how are you? I said, I'm great. She said, Where's, who is in charge of all of this? The guy said, I am. He said, she said, I want to buy her pizza. And I said, what? And she looked at me and she said, I need to calm down, huh? I said, yeah, you need to calm down. I said, because you're extremely beautiful. Wow. And she smiled and I started to dance at her like this. And then she started to dance just like this. And before I left, she hugged me and I hugged her and I reminded her that God loved her and how special she was. And we turned that frown upside down mm. and we made it a smile and that was intentionally choosing kindness although she had wrath and rage but it flipped the script because we brought Jesus into the equation and she bought my pizza and what I love about that is the fact that you took an attitude and you positioned her for gratitude yeah. you made her more grateful about being in that moment right because you became the light in the room and you know that's what it means to be a good Samaritan you know showing kindness is talking about what scripture talks about us we're being a light right you don't want to be hidden right you want to be the light on top of the hill you want to be that good Samaritan to that one person who needs it whether it's your parents whether it's your friends your teachers, your teachers. imagine this right the world the world right now is going through so much right and you have the answer and your answer is that hope, that kindness that God is asking you, and He's requiring you at your age with your creativity Come on. and your gratitude to show kindness and to be a good Samaritan to that one person He's calling you to be. That's right. So get ready to write down your memory verse Let's go. because when we get back, Come on. we want to hear these memory verses. If you're ready, say yeah. Yeah. If you're ready, say oh yeah. Oh yeah. If you're really ready, say memory verse. Memory verse. All right, here we go. Repeat after me, guys. God began a good work. God began a good work. No, you need to repeat after me. Okay. God. God. Began a good work. Began a good work. In you. In you. In you. In you. Am I sh and I am and I am sure sure that he that he will carry will carry it on it on until it is completed until it is completed that will be that will be the day the day Christ Jesus Christ Jesus returns returns so can you read that memory verse again here it says it says God began a good work God began a good work and you and you and I am sure. And I am sure that he will carry it on. That he will carry it on until it is completed. Until it is completed. That will be. That will be on the day. On the day. Christ. Christ returns. Returns. Philippians. Philippians. One. One. Verse six. Verse six. 
I know that's right. Our baby's gonna have that memory verse. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, man, God has something so, uh, God has something <laughs> powerful in store for you, you know in this season. Mm -hmm. He created us to be good Samaritans. He created us to continue to show kindness to a world, you know, because sometimes you can be wrapped around evil mm -hmm. and you don't realize that evil thing needs a good thing. And that okay. good thing is you. God created you to be a good Samaritan. And let's pray, right? Let's pray on our way out, right? Well, another thing is, Paul was the author of that verse. Mm -hmm. Paul did write that. Yep. And he was telling us to be confident about something very important. He was not talking about having self-confidence and trusting in your own strength and abilities, but rather having Christ's confidence. When you put your trust in Jesus, you allow God to start working in you. I'll say it again. When you put your trust in Jesus, what do you do? God will allow you, God will allow, God will definitely start working in you. God promises to be faithful and complete the work in your life so you can accomplish good things and show everyone else who God is. And you know what's cool about this verse, Dashi, of the person who wrote it? Because a lot of people don't realize Paul was killing Christians. Oof. He was arresting Christians. Oof. He was being a bully to Christians. Not a and bully. A bully. I just, I can't. He I was can't being bully. a bully to Christians. That Christians were even scared to come outside of their house when he was coming into the neighborhood. And the person who, who wanted to, the person God called to heal him mm -hmm. was scared of him because he was remembered as a bully. Wow. You know, but look at God, right? God turned him from a bad, Yes. Samaritan into a what? Good, good Samaritan. Samaritan. And look what he writes now. He does. And one of those good things includes, most importantly, mm -hmm. learning how to show kindness to everyone. Show kindness. Everyone. That's all people who don't look like you, people who may look like you, people who speak a different language, people who speak your language, everyone. Show kindness to everyone. And another thing. Mm -hmm. I always make sure that I tell my daughter, ever since she was a baby, mm -hmm. to even be kind to her toys, mm. to animals, in play. Everything. Everything, be kind to everything. You know how you bump your toe on that dresser and you say, stupid dresser! Mm -hmm. In all things, be kind. Mm. It's important because when you're unkind, you can pick up that nature. Yep. So it's very important that you show kindness to not just everyone, but all things. And be kind teaches you how to be very intentional with your words. Mm -hmm. You gotta understand the word, your words has power. Mm -hmm. So when you are being kind, it actually protects you from doing the negative things that you're not intended to do. Yeah. So, you know, we pray that in this next season or today as you're watching this, that you will learn and understand the story Jesus was talking about with the Good Samaritan, about being kind. We were born and we were created to be kind. God didn't design you or he didn't want you to come out and be mean. Who wants to wake up and be mean? Man, like, I mean, it's too early for this. That's crazy. I woke up on the wrong side of the bed. We denounced that. You didn't wake up on the wrong side because some people didn't wake up, baby. Some kids didn't wake up. Okay. You know, you got some kids who are battling, you know, so many different illnesses, right? And you got so many kids battling so many different things within themselves. Mm -hmm. And here you are, you're blessed to be kind. Like, I mean, I think now I'm thinking about it, being kind is a gift. It's a gift. Man, that is beautiful. I love it. Because Jesus was a gift to us, right? He the was. Holy Spirit is a gift to us. And look at the, the attributes of God and look at the characteristics of God. Oh. Being kind. Ah, that's amazing! Oh. oh! So can you pray us out, Mr. Ramsey? Yes, we can, we can. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much for this word. Good word. It talks about being kind. And God, being means not just we are human beings, but God is something that you've already put inside of us that you're asking us to do, just like as Paul has written, what it means to show kindness. God, if you can use Paul, who was a bully, to write a powerful message about the story of Jesus for being kind, Lord, we thank you that he's able to be an example that we are able to look at and understand what it means to be kind. Just like Jesus told, spoke about, God, don't allow us to be a Levite. Don't allow us to be that Levite to walk away from the problem. Don't allow us to be that other person to walk away from the situation. Allow us to be the good Samaritan in this yes. season, to show kindness, to be kind, and to walk into kindness. Because we never know when we're gonna 
need it. But God, we know that as, the, as you are the author of our faith and you are the author of our lives, we know that you're going to continue to teach us what it means to be kind. So I pray that that one, ch that one person, that one kid, that one child, that one person that's watching this, that today this message would empower them to be kind. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Amen. It was, it was dope having fun with you all with the message. We love you so much. Yes. yes. So much. Yes. Thank you for tuning in. Remember to like, subscribe, yes. and share this with your friends. While y'all on that video game, tell your friends, hey, go check us out on YouTube, our church. Come on. Get that good, good word. I'm telling you, subscribe to the channel. Listen, Mr. Ramsey is back once a month doing messages in Kingdom Kids. Woo! Let's give a shout out to Miss Nastasia as a director. We love her One so of much. Them. One of them. We have Tanisha. We have Mr. Samson. Samson Missy I, Missy it's a whole team. We are a whole family. And listen, we love you guys. And look, we're excited to hear what you did in your kindness journal. So we look forward. Don't forget love you. to follow God. Love people. And change the city. Boom. Boom.